On February 25th, 2018, the heart of Europe skipped a beat. Investigative journalist Jan Kuciak and his fiancée Martina Kuznirova were found dead in their home in Slovakia, killed in execution style. Police believe it is possible that Kuciak's murder was related to his journalistic work. Despite his young age, the 27-year-old Kuciak was a prominent investigative journalist. Before his murder, Kuciak was investigating organized crime and corruption in Slovakia, including possible ties between Italian mafia and people close to Slovakia's longtime prime minister, Robert Fico. Shocked and outraged, the Slovakian people have taken part in the largest protests since the Velvet Revolution in 1989, which ended communist rule. Tens of thousands have come together on Slovakian streets week after week to pay tribute to the murdered couple, demanding social and political change. For me it's very important that so many people, not only in Slovakia, but around the world actually, came to the street because I see that civic society is showing the values they want to see in the world. A crime against a journalist is a crime against the democracy. And I think it was very important that uh, so many citizens gathered tonight and say that uh, they will not accept this as a normal situation. My message was, I, I repeated three times the sentence that a journalist was killed in Slovakia. And I explained that this is a crossroad where the nation has to decide you know, whether we are going to be a decent country or we are going to be a mafia state. The murders have sparked a political crisis in Slovakia. Protesters have made clear they have lost faith in FICO's government and its capability to lead an independent investigation. FICO has now resigned, but it is not enough for people who are calling for early elections. After murdering a journalist, only a moral renewal can, get, can give hope to a country that, that we are going to be a decent state where journalists can safely work and do, do their job. Slovakian journalists have responded strongly to the murder, continuing the work Kuciak never had the chance to finish. Through their work, they are saying, we cannot be silenced. And really show the politicians and show anyone who would try to silence uh, journalists that, that they cannot be silenced. And there will be on, always a newspaper, there will be always a website, there will be always a journalist who will continue the, the story. Within just five months, two investigative journalists have been brutally killed in EU states. Last October, Maltese journalist Daphne Caruana Galizia was killed in a car bomb attack. The murders are putting European values to a test. The murder of this young journalist and his partner is an attack on all that Europe stands for. Our values, our right to freedom of speech, our right to ask difficult questions, our right to justice and our capacity to hold those in power properly to account. This is what distinguishes our democracies and keeps them healthy and vibrant. Members of the European Parliament have called on Slovakia to let Europol take co-lead in the investigation to ensure an open and objective process amidst claims of corruption and conflict of interest in Slovakia's government. The institutions and the law enforcement bodies have not really the trust of people and the people we spoke to. The international community has said that a swift and complete investigation is of the utmost importance, since any further impunity puts more journalists in danger. Clearly, journalists is at risk, journalists are threatened, and journalists need to be protected, including in Europe. This truly is a crossroads, not only for Slovakia, but for Europe as a whole.